Hello, and welcome to my planner walkthrough. I have had a couple of um, people ask me um, how my setup goes. I wanted to give a peek. I use it to help me plan uh, for my prelim events. I've got um, that test coming up soon, and it helps me take notes. And then also, I feel like I need more space to write right now. So I opted for the larger size, which is the A5. I really love this planner. The more I use it, the more I fall in love with it because of the size options that it has with it. I ordered this on Amazon. It's navy. It is, it's incredibly dark navy. It's not black. It's navy. It was a lot darker than I expected it. It's not a patent. It's just the original leather Filofax. Uh, so let's look inside. In This is the type of Filofax that has the two pockets. It has the front side and the back side and you can just stick things inside of it. Right now up front, I have these um, stickers that I got from Redbubble. I want to use them in this planner. That's my Dolly Parton. I wanna use them in this planner, but I haven't decided how I'm going to use them. So they're just hanging out right there for now. And then in the back, as you might have glimpsed, is where I keep receipts. I also keep my fountain pen right here. This is the Lamy Safari Pink. I've had this for several years. I get the ink and cartridges on Amazon. It's a good pen. As you see, it's a ring binder system, which is what I prefer because I like for things to be very customizable. On uh, the front of it, you see I have the Filofax flyleaf, which keeps my dashboard protected and also gives it a little bit of a finished look and a nice little polish. I am only using this uh, cardstock image of the cactus as my dashboard right now. Usually I put cards and stickers and really doll it up, but this image is so cool, I guess for the lack of a better word, I thought the cactus was so cool that it didn't need anything else. So I didn't even add any washi tape. I'm just letting it just kind of be itself. And I just think it's awesome. This section is what I call my hustle section. I made this dashboard. It's from the same paper. So I cut out with the dominant image um, prevalent and of course punched the holes in it. And the pad that this came with was called Sahara Desert. I got it at Michael's. It was only five bucks and it had these little Project Life cards inside of it that you would normally stick inside of a scrapbook. I cut it to size and just I just glued it like right on top. And then I made a little tab that said hustle because this is my section on promotion, social media, posting things online. I'm a writer and I've had a couple of things published lately and I want to make sure that people are reading it because I really like that story and it's always fun when people read your stuff. So just making sure sure that I get that out for people to see. So this is where I take notes about like how I need to approach those things. And then also this is where I keep up with like planner videos and just little notes to myself about things I can do. This is a ruler that I made out of cardstock and I punched the holes in it so it would fit in my file of facts. And I reinforced it with scotch tape and then cut little slits into the holes and what that does is it makes it a removable marker just like the uh, standard file effects marker that comes um, with the page. I wanted an extra marker and something that was of a large size. And then this next section, sometimes when I'm working within one system, I'll pick one pad of paper and that will just be my theme. So we're going with the Sahara Desert theme right now. Uh, also with the rose gold. And this is what I call my sparkle section because this is my self-care. These are my ideas and things I can do to help keep myself healthy, to keep myself motivated, to keep myself just being, just being strong. So I've got all pink paper in this section to keep me motivated and inspired. And then I have like this little gold paper clip um, to um, hold like pages that have passed together. Um, I like to do that. I don't always like to clean them out or throw them away, but I don't need to flip through them every time I use this section. So, um, uh, yes, so this is my create section. This is when I get story ideas um, that I can write those down and just kind of like do like creative writing and sketches and when things kind of pop to me and I have the grid paper here. Okay, 
said this is my prelim section this is where I keep my notes for all the books that I'm reading for my test that's coming up also keeping the grid paper here because I can write smaller on the grid paper and this is where I'm keeping one of my rulers so this is where I'm kind of keeping up with um, just staying motivated and so if I'm reading I take my notes in this instead of a different notebook and this way I can keep everything together okay so this is my schedule instead of putting my schedule in the front I moved it to the back because I found that if I kept my schedule in the front all I would do was look at what I was doing that day and then I would close the book which defeats the purpose of having a big system like this. Uh, now when I open it up, I have to flip through all my sections to get to my schedule and, and make me ask questions like, you know, um, have I posted anything about my publications lately? Have I written anything lately? What are we doing on our prelims before we even get to what we're doing for the day? So it kind of readies me for not overlooking things that are also important that need to get done. So this is my so schedule ready for adventure. Right now, um, this is this is August. I am uh, attempting to do a DIY fish inspired layout for my months. So as you can see, it's the month. It's all on this front side. I use the gauche paints to write out the name of the month. I hand drew the grid because of the awkward size of this page it was going to be very hard to um, print it in my printer and instead of just doing a front side and punching holes in it i actually did this very wide piece of paper that folds back onto itself now the reason that i did that and then also did it on this side too the reason that i did that is because if i'm working on my dailies I can see my whole month, let's get that down. I can see my whole month in front of me while I am writing what I need to get done for my dailies. Also, because I'm working with a day on two page system, um, so Wednesday is both here and here, um, I instead of having a whole spread for a weekly, instead on my Monday pages, I'm doing a little bit of a wider spread that folds back on itself. So this is my weekly. So I can see my month, my week, and my day all in one large fold out, and I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of fun to play with. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it up but right now it seems to be working now to look at the month again normally when i'm flipping through all i see is this and that's fine so on the front side is the month of august it's just a calendar just like anything else and the back side i created a healthy habits tracker for the things that i know that i need to do and a list of goals that i want to accomplish for the month of august with a little um, check mark and then a couple of stickers and some gauche paints just to make it look pretty and then on my daily pages like i said i'm doing the small weekly here and then that folds upon itself and then i have a day on two pages so the reason I do the day on two pages is because I like a lot of room to have a lot of options. I'm showing you just kind of a blank um, day that I have coming up. And I'm going to fold this back because you got the idea of the weekly. Okay, so this is a day I have coming up. I have, a, um, I have a, an hourly for my schedule. So I can do time blocks and block off certain areas. So if I know that I want to work from eight to 10 on my blog, I can just put a box and mark it out and I know that that's occupied. But even though I have a time block, it doesn't mean that I don't have specific tasks that have to get done throughout the day. So this is where I do my to-do list for the day. So it can be something as simple as, you know, go to the grocery store, but it could also help me break down tasks in case I am working on my blog. There might be three things that I need to do on that. So I can put that all on my to-do list. This is just an open space, this open box. I can decorate that and I can signify like major, major things that are happening. Or if I'm gonna be out of town or if there's some, like, some really awesome thing that's happening that's gonna take up most of the day, uh, then I can put it there without neglecting the fact that I probably will still have a lot of to-dos for that day. So that is the left-hand side. The right-hand side is 
the t today's priority. So it's like the thing I need to get done that day. And then the box below is after I accomplished my task today, I can't wait to. And this allows me to give myself something to look forward to when all of my tasks are complete. So sometimes I just write on there that I want to play Cookie Jam Blast until I fall asleep because, you know, my day's done and that's fun. Um, and then I have lines over here in case I need to take note. So that's why I like having the two pages. In addition to that, I love this big, oh gosh, I love this. This is a huge plastic divider with the polka dots that I snagged out of a um, Webster Pages planner that I don't use anymore, but they do sell these on their own at uh, Joann's Fabrics. I'm pretty sure that you can just buy these in a kit of other things. So if you like a big bookmark that would, and don't want to make your own, um, that is a place where you can pick that up and it is the um, the plasticky stuff and it has the um, the hole so it's removable so you can just move it from day to day. The other thing I have stuck in here is a list of self-care goals that I made for myself. I am really bad about making these goals on, at the beginning of the month because um, I did here and forget to look back at them so this way um, it goes for every page so every time I move this I also move this with it so every day I can see what my goals were um, for self-care that I um, wanted to get done and I'm not neglecting it so I have a couple I've gotten a lot of this stuff done which makes me very excited um, but I still have some more things to do also these sections oh and this is just a um, like a project life card and that um, I and I took a piece of scrap paper made my list glued it to the project life card dolled it up with some washies and when I wrote it all out it was wider than the card which is why I have this little fold back thing but it's it's fun it's fun it's kind of it's kind of like a weird thing but it's fun so that way um, I can make sure this is all um, this is getting done and it was very easy to put together and then of course for upcoming months, I just have it all just on one page. I do not have a fold out for each month yet because I don't know if this is something I'm gonna keep up. And then after my schedule, I have another fly leaf and kind of like a back dashboard. This was in the front, the cactus was in the back, the cactus inspired me more, but this Be Brave and Conquer is actually very cool. So I didn't wanna get rid of it, but it just it wasn't doing it for me. And then in the back, is where I keep a lot of my accoutrements. Uh, these little plastic bags are actually Smashbook. A friend of mine gave me a package of them that she had found and she knew I loved this stuff so she gave it to me. And I, that you're supposed to tape them into your binder or your mole scheme. And I could never get any tape to stick to it. So I just punched holes in it. And now it's just like a little Ziploc bag full of um, little die cuts that I picked up. But in case I need to just dazzle something, it's right there. And then this is a top loading pocket that comes with the file effects. And I am using it to hold my stencils. I am not um, the greatest and most consistent artist. I cannot draw a star to save my life. So I feel kind of blessed to have the stencil with the little stars already pitched out for me and banners and little droplets and hearts and boxes and things. Uh, all of these stencils came from Michaels. This one actually came with some unicorn stamps and I think I use it most of all these little stars are a really nice backdrop to add to things. It's, it gives the page some texture. And then if you need like a banner to offset your page, this is sold separate and it even has like the little check boxes and lines for easy to-do lists, um, task lists. It's good for bullet journaling. I have been turning it this way and drawing it on my pages to keep up with how much water I'm drinking. So there's a lot of options with that and you never know when you're going to use those. Sometimes I keep Project Life cards in here. It just depends on what's going on. And then we have the back. All right. 
So if you have any questions, yes, please put comments below. Or if you want to see some of my planner spreads, go to my Instagram account. I'm at Brandy Bradley's Boots. Uh, you can always see what I'm up to on brandybradley.com. All right. Thanks, guys.